Determine whether a number is a solution of an equation using the TI-83. Algebraic equations. An algebraic equation is a statement that two expressions have equal value. Example, 2x is equal to 12. We see that the left hand side of our equation is 2x and that's set equal to the right hand side of our equation which is 12. In the next example, 2 plus x is equal to 2x minus 5. Here again we see 2 plus x is the left hand side of our equation and 2x minus 5 is the right hand side. Solving algebraic equations involve finding values for a variable that make the equation true. Solve for x. x plus 3 is equal to 5. And we know 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 because 2 plus 3 is 5. Both sides of our equation are equal so we know that x equal to 2 is a solution. Determining solutions. A solution is a value for the variable that makes the equation a true statement. Example, is negative 7 a solution of the equation x plus 19 is equal to negative 12? So we re-express our equation x plus 19 is equal to negative 12. Next we shall substitute x for negative 7 and upon doing that, we see that negative 7 plus 19 is positive 12, which does not equal to our right-hand side of negative 12. Therefore, negative 7 is not a solution. Here we'll take a look at the calculator solution. But upon doing so, we must first talk about the test mode. And while we're in the test mode, we must keep in mind that if a 0 is returned, that equals to false. If a 1 is returned, that equals to true. So for our example, we'll use 3. We'll use the test option, which is yellow. So I'm actually going to use second and math, which is test. And we want to know, is 3 equal to 3? That's a true statement. A 1 is returned. However, if we enter something false, let's say 3, I'm going to go into my test, is greater than 10, it returns a 0, which is false. So let's look at our example. Is negative 7 a solution of x plus 19 equal to negative 12? First, we must enter the equation into the calculator and simultaneously store in a value. So I'm going to clear my screen. And I'm going to take negative 7. And we're going to store that for x. And I'm going to use a semicolon. And notice the semicolon is the alpha and the decimal point. This actually stores negative 7 for x in our equation. So next we'll enter our equation. x plus 19. Is that equal to negative 12? Notice a 0 is returned, therefore negative 7 is not a solution.